how to create a professional logo on Canva for personal business, dropshipping, and more. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own professional logo using Canva for free. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to do is go on to canva.com and create your account. You can sign in using your Gmail account or your Facebook account as well. And then you're just going to be welcomed on your basic dashboard. Now, there are two ways you can do this and create your own professional logo the first thing you can do is just go on to the custom sizing and then start creating your own custom sized logo or you can go on to flaticon.com so over here you can find vector images or icons specifically uh, that are made for people to further edit and create their own icons for their own businesses so we are going to do both of these things i'm going to start off by using the flat icon method so let's say i am running a bakery or some kind of food related business so i'm just gonna search for uh, food over here and i'm gonna look for different food icons that are available on flat icon and they have a lot of different icons available so you can even filter out what kind of uh, basic shape you want so if you want it to be colored gradient all shapes if you just want a outline or filled out or linear color hand drawn what kind of icon you want so you can just filter those out and find uh, a icon of your liking now once you find a icon of your liking you can just open it up over here and then you can just click on free download and you can download it for free as a sticker as well as a image so what you're just going to do is we're going to save it over here and we're just going to click on free download and over here they have the attribution required setup so you're going to have to attribute this image and make sure you do do that when you're using this icon now once you have done that you're just going to go on to canva and you're going to click over here and you're just going to click on logo you're going to search for a logo and click on logo which is a 500 by 500 pixel logo now once you have done that this is going to open up a create blank logo now canva also gives you some templates and i'm going to show you how to go with that route later on but we're just going to open up a empty canvas for our logo and what you're going to do is you're going to click on uploads over here you're going to click on upload media and then you're going to upload the image that you just downloaded from flat icon so i'm just going to open that up and i'm going to go into my images and i'm just going to upload this image over here and now i'm just going to wait for this to be uploaded and once this has been uploaded i'm just going to move it on over here and now you can design it however you want so uh, what i could do is i could just place it at the corner and then i could add like the restaurant name or the bakery name over here i think i'm gonna go with that uh, idea actually so i'm just gonna make it a bit off center but i'm not gonna place it at the edge and then i'm just gonna go on to the element section and what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for drip and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on to graphics and i'm just going to open up this little drip like this and you can obviously expand this but i would actually not recommend expanding drips because they usually don't look that good what I would do is I'm just going to change the color onto black and I'm just going to do control C and control V and you can just copy this or I'm actually going to change the color of the page and then I'm going to give it white drips so I'm just going to change up the color or you can do it as yellow drips or something like that if you want to make it you know match your overall uh, look for the logo as well like this and i'm just going to do Control c and Control v and copy this drip onto the entire section and i'm just going to make sure that there are no gaps between the drips like this i'm going to make sure they don't look like overlapped as well like this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on bring to front over here so this is present on top of the drips and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go on to the text section over here on the left and i'm just going to uh, use one of the pre-made fonts or use a separate uh, untitled brand kit so you can use like a simple font and then customize it or you can use one of their pre-made font combinations now uh, to keep it simple i'm going to use the font combination but i do recommend trying out their simple fonts to uh, actually customize your logo according to your own needs but i'm actually going to use one of these font combos because i really do think it would fit like a pizza brand so what i'm going to do is 
Uh, I'm going to name it Pops Pizza. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to change this and I'm going to make sure it's not capitalized like this Pops Pizza. And I'm just going to click over here and change the color palette of the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to make it yellow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to change up the colors and I'm going to see what fits best like this. And I'm just going to place this down like this. And I think this looks pretty good. I actually like the design till yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this a bit like this and I'm going to expand this. So it's uh, a bit overlapped with the text like this. And uh, this is actually a pretty good logo and you can just click on download over here and you can download this as a PNG, JPG or a PDF or PDF print. Now, this is one way to create a icon using Canva. The other thing, if you don't want to use flat icon in one of their icons, you want to keep it customized and you don't want to use this platform, you can create the entire logo on Canva as well. So when you search for a logo on the top, this is going to lead you to several templates to create your logo. So you can see Canva does provide you a lot of different uh, options for you to create a logo. But if you want to start from scratch, you're just going to click on create blank logo and this is going to open up your simple canvas over here. And once your simple canvas is opened, what you're just going to do is you're going to go into the element section and then you're going to search for the thing you're creating your logo for. So let's say for this time uh, I'm creating a, a salon logo. So I'm just going to search for um, salon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the graphic section. And you can see different graphic images provided for me to create my logo. So I can just use uh, one of these little icons and use them for my logo as well. So let's say I'm just going to scroll down until I find something that I like. I really like this one and I'm just going to expand this out and I'm just going to make this like a nail salon. And you can obviously change the color according to your own liking. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to search for sparkles. And once I've searched for sparkles, I'm just going to add some simple little sparkles in pink. And I'm going to control C and control V. And I'm just going to shorten these and place them over here as well. And then I'm just going to go back into my elements. I'm going to look for some more sparkles in the graphic section because I want them all to be pretty cohesive like this. I'm going to change the color to pink as well, like this. And now I'm just going to go on to the text. And I'm just going to add a simple text called Sasha Salon. And I'm going to now change the text style. So I'm just going to change up the font. Uh, and I'm going to look for a font that I like. So you're just going to find, uh, look for stuff until you find something that fits your overall brand. I think this looks good. Then I'm going to go on to the effect section and I'm just going to click on neon and I'm going to change the color onto pink or a deeper pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the top over here like this and like this i'm just going to reposition some of the sparkles like that and this is another logo and another way that you can create your logos for free using canva so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video